Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I actually just wanted to go through and explain um, a little bit about my process of starting uh, my journey for my BBL Lipo 360 as well as just give you um, my background and what I've learned so far. So I am getting the Lipo 360 BBL J Plasma surgery done in about 13 days um, by Dr. Balgobin or better known as Dr. BBL on Instagram and he's on Snapchat and I'll leave both of his links uh, below for you if you want to check him out. He does amazing work and um, I've been following him for years. So. The reason why I wanted to get this surgery done before anybody says anything, like I say in all of my videos, I don't care what anyone has to say or what they think. And if they think this is, um, you know, vanity, if this is vanity or they, whatever, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. But I'm gonna explain to you why I decide, I decided to do this. So when I was younger, um, I've always been a thick girl. And when I was younger, I actually had a little bit of a shape um, and then as I got into my adult years and actually gained a lot of weight after having my children, um, I, my shape kind of like disappeared as far as like having like a shape that was attractive, at least to me, um, it disappeared. And along with that was the little bit of butt that I did have. Um, so then I got my weight loss surgery, as all of you know, if you've been watching and following my YouTube channel and my journey, I got weight loss surgery and lost tons of weight. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link that below as well for you to go ahead and check that video out. Um, but once I lost all that weight, I lost any and all butt that I ever had, <laughs> like all of it. And um, I, I want one. I've always wanted one. I feel like it's gonna make me feel more confident in myself and the clothing, uh, the clothing that I wear. Um, so that's the reason why I plan to get one. Um, the Life with 360. I'm not really like. That's just part of it but my main goal is to have a butt that you know you can actually see that actually shapes in my clothes and looks good so but of course the life of 360 is nice to have um to you know suck out some of this this fat i got going on um so yeah that's the reason why i am planning on doing it so initially my date for my surgery was May 25th and today is actually June 9th I believe but my first date was May 25th um, but due to my hemoglobin levels I had to get my put my date pushed back six weeks um, so my new date now is June 24th um, I had my virtual consult with Dr. Balgobin in I believe March is when I initially decided to you know put a sub uh, submission in for a consult. Now, I've been thinking about this for years. For years, I've been wanting to have this done. Um, just never been able to have the right time, the right money to do it. Um, but, you know, circumstances changed and I'm able to do it right now. But I reached out to them on Instagram. Like I said, on Instagram, he has all of his pictures, all of his contact information. Um, so I reached out to REJ Aesthetics is the, is the name of his website and put a consult or a request for a consult i believe they got back to me in a day if not um if not two days at the max um with my request and i spoke to dr balgaman um himself and it was a really quick consult he just asked me you know some uh, medical questions a little bit about my medical history um and what i wanted to achieve a little bit and in order to do your consult, you have to send pictures. So I sent um, pictures of my of myself, you know, front, side, and back. Um, and then you do it, you know, with a bra and panties on. Um, so I did that. And then after you send that in, that's when they give you your consult. So we had a quick conversation about what it, what it was I wanted. And um, his thing is always letting you know, you know, to have realistic expectations. Not everybody's going to have the very the very very small snatched waist if your body's not built for that your bone structure is not built for that um you had a bunch of pregnancies like everyone's results are going to be different and i already know this this is nothing new to me because i had surgery before and i am a realistic person i don't expect to be like you know snatched to the gods and i don't expect to have um probably a flat stomach because i did have three children um, but I do believe my, my results are going to come out really nicely because I have been trying to maintain my weight and 
my stomach area kind of sort of a little bit so hopefully it, it will be um, a really good result as far as that goes and I think my back um, the life on my back is gonna turn out amazing anyway just because I don't feel like I have a lot of back um, rolls I have like one set um, so I feel like that shouldn't be too big of a deal um, but yeah, so I had my consult and then, and my consult, yeah, I had my consult and after my consult, he told me that his nurse coordinator would be getting in touch with me. Um, so Melissa is her name. Um, and she reached out to me, I believe that same day asking me, uh, what, when I wanted to have the surgery. And I told her, you know, the, the earliest you have. So at that point it was like June 3rd and, um, we had like a couple more conversations in between uh, a few days later and I asked her, was there any cancellations? Is there any way to move up, move my surgery up a little bit? Because I knew that my husband was going to be going back to work soon and I was trying to get it in before he went back to work full time. Um, so I wanted to try to get it as soon as possible. And that's when I got the date of May 25th, um, which was only a week difference, but a week makes a difference. Um, so May 25th is what it was set for and I went ahead and did everything I needed to do um, or what I was able to do at that time to get my uh, everything in order. So I ended up buying my plane tickets um, because right now, as you know, we're going through COVID-19. Um, and so plane tickets are really, really inexpensive, especially back in March, you know, when you were at, you were, you know, stay at home regulations. Now, you know, we are, we're lifting, lifting things here and there uh, a little bit more, but back then there was, you know, stay at home. So plane tickets were like like minimal so of course i went ahead and got my plane ticket and i am flying with delta if y'all care to know that and actually i was quite quite surprised how delta was able to allow me to change my flight so many times because like i said my date changed because of my hemoglobin levels and um i had to get pushed back six weeks so i had to change my flight and they were accommodating with changing my flight with no extra charges. So I was excited about that. My initial impression with Dr. Balgobin, I feel he is a very genuine person and he's real. Just from seeing his post, seeing when he comes on Snapchat, seeing, you know, from my consultation, he sounds like he's a real down to earth and realistic person, which is what I like. I like someone to give me the, you know, give me, what, give me, give it to me like it is. Don't sugarcoat stuff to make me feel good, to make, you know, try to get my money. Like, no, that wasn't him. He let me know for sure, like, based off of the pictures he sees in my body, this is what, you know, he thinks I can achieve and, you know, stuff like that. So I appreciate that he was being real with me. Um, my, stati my stats of to as of today, June 9th, I am 166 pounds. Um, I wear a size eight and a size 10, depending on the type of, of uh, outfit I'm wearing. Um, my waist, let me check real quick because I checked this yesterday. My waist is a 32, my hips are a 39, and my bust area is a 42, and that's a question mark because I might not have done these measurements completely correct, I don't know, but I know when I go to have my surgery, they're going to, they're going to do my measurements, um, so I'll be able to update y'all in my, you know, my updates as I go along, but as of now, this is where I think I'm at, is a 32 in the waist, 39 in the hips, and 42 in the bust. Um, and shirts, I wear large. And my bra size is a 38D, which again, that I don't think is completely accurate because my bras don't fit completely like they're supposed to. They're a little bigger than what they are, so. But that's my stats as of now. Hoping that's gonna change significantly after surgery. Um, so, my pre-op clearance um just really quickly i'm gonna give you a quick little little insight on what um what was sent to me in the pre-op clearance and what they require um but i'll have a more in-depth video about the pre-op clearance when i speak more about my hemoglobin um and how to get your hemoglobin up so if you have issues with your blood levels and for surgery or for you know just anemia in general um, stay tuned for that video because it'll be coming up next on how to increase your blood levels. But um, just like anything, you know, you got uh, pre-op clearance for surgery. Most surgeries, is your hemoglobin has to be a 12. Um, they require you to, you know, if you, 
depending on where you are, your stats are, they'll either require you to gain weight or lose weight or just stay the same if you're at a, at a good, you know, a good uh, weight. Your BMI has to be 32 or less, I believe, is what his requirements are. If you're over 32, he will not take it. And if your blood level is below 12 at all, no matter how close you are, he will not take you. Um, so he's pretty pretty firm with his pre-op uh, clearance. So I had to get a you know a um, a physical done from my doctor and had to get labs done. So hemoglobin, um, check in my vitamins, drug test, pregnancy test. Um, I will have to do a COVID nineteen test before I come five days to forty eight days before I arrive. Um, and then there's a whole list of things that they ask you to stop 10 days before, like four to six weeks before your surgery. And then it goes down to like three weeks before your surgery and then the day before and then the day of. So there's like a list of things that they'll, they ask you to stop. And I'll put up um, the, a picture right here of the information I'm talking about. And y'all can just pause the video and look at it if you want to on your own. I also have all this information in my Facebook group. Um, support group for Dr. BBL. If you would like to uh, join that group, you're more than welcome to send an invite and you can go ahead and join. I'll leave, I'll leave that link in um, the description box below for you as well. Um, pricing. This is a question I know I'm going to get and I have gotten quite a few times. Um, so at the time that I booked my surgery in March, he had a special going on with his uh, pricing where basically depending on how much you put down it will determine how big of a discount you get. So I think his his um, his basic requirement deposit is a thousand dollars. You have to put your thousand dollar deposit down in order to get your um, get your date. So once you have your consult, you put your thousand dollars down and you get your date. Um, however, I he like I said, he had a special going on where depending on how much you put down, you got certain things taken off. So I think like I think like if you put it, you put like fifteen hundred, you might have got. A thousand dollars or fifteen hundred, you might have got a shirt, and then like five hundred more, you got um, like something else. I can't remember exactly what it was that you got, and then like at twenty five hundred, you get a free recovery house, and then like you know going up, you get like free um, J plasma and you know so on and so forth so i ended up putting five thousand down and putting five thousand down i was able to get the recovery house for free and essentially my j plasma for free so j plasma by itself is 2500 and the recovery house is 500 so i got three thousand taken off so those two items are free um typically if you're going to do lipo 360 bbl j um lipo 360 bbl through him as of right now his prices is twelve thousand dollars for that Lipo 360 BBL with J Plasma is going to be 14,500. So 2,500 additional for J Plasma. I ended up paying 11,500 because I got the 300 taken off. Um, three, not 300, 3,000 taken off. So for those of you who don't know what J, J Plasma is, because in my support group, I had a few people ask me what that was. J Plasma is basically a procedure they perform um, after they do the liposuction where basically they suck all your fat out, obviously, with liposuction, and then they take an instrument that kind of looks just like the liposuction instrument, um, and go through the same like holes that they do for your liposuction, and use like a plasma to tighten your um, your fat and the cells um, to help your stomach naturally become tighter again over time. So it tightens it up a little bit after the, the procedure, but then over time, it'll continuously tighten it up. And this is to help people who have stretched skin, had children, stuff like that, to help hopefully tighten your skin and um, and the elasticity that you've got going on, going on in your skin. Um, his Lipo 360 includes up and lower, up and lower abdomen, your up and lower back and the flanks that includes it that's included in the lipo 360 and then of course the bbl is your butt and then the j plasma is j plasma of just the ab abdomen and i believe each additional area is 2500 so if you wanted it of your back it's additional 2500 right i think i went over everything i wanted to in this intro video i do plan to have videos like i said of how i got me hemoglobin up in three weeks um, I'm going to have a video on what I'm bringing to the recovery house, 
And then of course my journey um, as I venture on to actually going to the, um, the recovery house and my surgery and all of that. So please make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you know exactly when I post my videos. So I will leave all the links below for you to follow all of my social media and my journey. And um, I will see you all in my next video. I hope everyone's staying safe, COVID free, hopefully, and maintaining your six feet distance, social distancing, even when you're out in the groups and you know, with them lifting up everything. But I uh, will talk to y'all all later. Bye.